Well, I'm Anthony Bailey and welcome to Bailey Bill. This week, we're gonna tackle refinishing a dresser. It's one that we'll actually use in our guest room in our home. You can find the real wood dressers like this still out in a lot of places like antique shops or also estate sales and working with real wood is great. Let's get to it. I started by removing all the drawers of the dresser and placing it on a flat pair of sawhorses. I find that elevating the dresser makes it a little easier to work with. I laid out the drawers on my adjustable height workbench. I got the inspiration for this project from another build on YouTube and I'll add that link in the description below. Next, it was time to take the drawer pulls off. Typically, I would paint them and then put them back on later, but for this project, I'm adding a different set that has a different style I ordered online. I recommend storing the old drawer pulls in clear plastic bags. It makes it easier to find when you need them for a project in the future. Now it's time for sanding. Here, I use the 80 grit paper. I wanted to sand hard enough to get rid of the outline of the old drawer pull, but not enough to warp the front of the dresser drawer. Once that was complete, it was time to work on the top of the dresser. This initial round of sanding was also done with 80 grit paper. I wanted to remove as much of the finish as I could. The goal was to return it back to natural wood. Next, I sanded the trim of the dresser by hand. It made it a little easier to follow the intricate details of the contours of the dresser. For this project, I'm doing a combination of stain and paint, and that requires a little extra prep work. Normally, I would use the painter's tape and a roll of masking paper, but while at the home store, I came across this tape and paint combo from 3M. It comes in a two foot and four foot roll. I decided to try both. I use a two foot roll for the dressers. The edge of the tape rolled right on the dresser and the adhesive was strong. It's about six inches long when you roll it out. After you attach it to the perimeter of the dresser, a gentle tug and the plastic expands to cover the entire drawer. I repeated that for all the drawers and a few minutes later, I was done. Using 3M's tape and plastic combo was a huge time saver for me. It really cut down on my prep time. After moving all the drawers outside, it was time to prime them. For this, I'm using Zinsser's Bullseye Primer. I found that when painting drawers, you can sometimes have oils that can bleed through, creating this brown blotchy spot. Zinsser's Primer has a stain block and that prevents it from happening. Now it goes on thick, so you wanna make sure that you spray about eight to 12 inches away from the surface and use even strokes. It's the best way to ensure things stay smooth. Now to prep the top of the dresser, I used a two inch tape plastic combo. The plan is to paint the body of the dresser and stain the top. I start by priming with Rust-Oleum's two-in-one paint primer combo. I really like the finish you get from a primer out of a spray can. Once dry, I use my Wagner Flexio 590 to spray on the main coat. With pieces like this, I like to use water-based latex paint. It sprays on smoothly and makes for easy cleanup. Next, it was time to prep the piece for staining. Now after removing the plastic from the top, I used 3M's four foot roll to protect the painted body of the dresser. I used 120 grit sandpaper to start. I then followed up with 240 grit paper. That gave the top a really smooth feel. After a few quick passes with a rag to remove the dust, the top was ready to be stained. For this, I used Verithane's poly and stain in a mahogany finish. Starting in one corner, I apply with a two inch foam brush, keeping the wet edge as I cover the dresser from one side to the other. The combination of the two in one saves some time and gives you a beautiful finish. After letting the top dry, I turn the dresser over and stain the sides of the top. I found using a one inch brush for that part of the project made it easier to maneuver. I like to seal the project using Rust-Oleum's clear gloss. It also gives a little added protection. I finish up the project by adding new gold hardware. Well, after we had a chance for the stain to dry on top, we put a coat of finishing wax on it, then added some awesome drawer pulls and a brass finish that we ordered off of Amazon. That new gold or brass is becoming very popular with furniture, and all in all, it turned out pretty well. If you'd like to see more projects or have a suggestion for us here at Bailey Built, 
All you have to do is leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed what you saw and subscribe to our channel. Until the next time, take care.